Last year, I uploaded 140 videos to my YouTube channel. And today, I'm gonna show you exactly how much I earned. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you a 100,000 viewed short video, how much that earned, a video that averaged over six cents a click, if I don't fall, plus a video that got 319,000 views its first 18 days, and how much money that put in my pocket. So, if you've got a small YouTube channel, you're new to YouTube, and you wanna rake it in big time, this is the video to watch. All right, guys, so today we're gonna to talk about what you need if you wanna make $100,000 a year or more here on YouTube. And as you can see here from these screenshots, there's lots of people making lots of money. However, according to Inc., it says that even channels with 1.4 million monthly viewers earn less than $17,000 a year. And that would have us thinking that there's really no way to make a good living on YouTube. But that is where you would be wrong. So today, not only am I gonna show you how much I made, but we're gonna get to the bottom of the truth of what it takes to make money here on YouTube. First, let's start with the daily averages of my channel last year. We could see here that my best day on YouTube last year was $532.76. And while this isn't earth shattering income, it does add up really, really fast. So we're gonna talk about what it took to actually make that, what kind of video I made, what the topic was, and what the difference is between a video that gets less than a penny a click and one that makes a lot of money. And that brings us to our first screenshot, a short video I uploaded in October. This video is one minute long. It took me like three minutes to make. It got over 100,000 views and it earned, wait a minute, what? $7.92? But these guys are saying I'm gonna get $1,000 a day or $17,000 just posting short videos. This guy says one short video is gonna make you 20 grand. Yeah, I'd need to make like 2,000 videos to get that kind of revenue. So let's talk about the truth of how all of this works. So the first thing we need to realize is that YouTube runs on the Google AdSense platform. This is a platform that you see when you search Google and you see all those ads. So those advertisers are paying money, not only on the Google search engine, but they're also paying to run ads on videos. And the way these are triggered are by keywords and topics. So if you do a video about funny cats, obviously that topic is not gonna make as much money from the advertisers as something about mortgages, refinance, credit cards, or something of a financial nature. And if you were to search on Google for the highest paying AdSense keywords, you're gonna see a list of a bunch of different keywords that pay tons of money. You could see here we have stuff like web hosting, credit cards, refinance, checking your credit, donating cars, legal stuff, and on and on we go. And these advertisers are paying a fortune to be at the top of Google. And many of those advertisers come over to YouTube and pay for traffic there as well. Now, it's not gonna be the same amount you're gonna see on Google, and you're not guaranteed to get any amount, but what this does is tells us that since the advertisers are paying more, the chances of them paying more on YouTube are pretty high. So that's why a video about mortgages that gets maybe a couple thousand views could outperform some short video telling a joke that makes a couple of pennies. More about this in a little bit because the topics you create your videos about are gonna be a huge factor when it comes to how much you're going to earn. Now remember, I'm the affiliate marketing dude, so we're gonna talk about some other ways to make money in addition to monetization. Because if I just relied on my video income alone, I'd be stuck making less than 10% of what I actually earned last year. So let's take a look at the next screenshot. We could see that for 2022, this channel got 3.4 million views. And while relative to other channels, that's pretty small, the amount I made was actually a lot more than one of my friends who got a half a billion views. So again, this really does hinge on the content you make, the niche you're in, and the length of each video. And now for that video that got over 319,000 views in the first 18 days, let's take a look at what that made. 319,200 views, almost 20,000 hours of watch time, adding 6,000 subscribers to my channel. This one rang up at a whopping, wait for it, wait for it, $2,478? Wait a minute, that's less than one penny per view. But still, 
2,500 bucks for making a nine minute video? Not too shabby. And now let's take a look at that video that averaged six cents per view. And a lot of you guys might be thinking, okay, Marcus, yeah, this one probably got like nine views, but actually we could see here it had almost 18,000 views. 18,000 times 0 0.06, that's over a thousand dollars. And as you can see here, that's an RPM or revenue per thousand views of 63 bucks. That means if I can get this video to a million views at these current numbers, it'll bank $63,000. Compare that with the average across the board where they're getting two to $3,000 for the same amount of views. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this has everything to do with your topic, your content, length of video, and how long you keep people watching. And while the total amount I made last year on YouTube was just over $90,000, I want you to remember that I made a lot of money with other things. Having my own website, affiliate marketing, building a mailing list, selling my own products and services, deliberately making videos about topics I know are gonna drive big ad revenue. And of course, being consistent. If you wanna drive views and revenue here on YouTube, what you wanna do is be consistent and go down the list of people that want info in your market. If you're talking about ways to save money, then find all the ways to save money and try to include keywords in the topic, coupons, discounts, credit cards that have rewards, different things of that nature. If you're a magician, show all the different tricks you know how to do or the different tricks that you want to perform or whatever it is. If you're doing art, showcase your abilities and skills. If you're talking about finance, do it in a way that's interesting and follow the path of the glossary method where you go down the list of keywords. And of course, if you want to make more, let me eat, uh, uh, and of course, if you want to make more money using any of these methods, check out the videos in the description, smash a like button, and if you want me to help you get more traction and make more money, make sure you subscribe and binge watch my other videos.